Hi, boys and girls. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, we are going to be reading another folktale. So, what are we doing? We will be reviewing characteristics of folktales. How? We will be reading The Old Woman and the Sea Spirit. I hope this doesn't come off. Is this backwards? If it is, I'm, I'm going to write it in the directions. Why? To help us identify another genre as we become better readers. So we are going to be reading a book that I really think you're going to like, and I want you to think about the correct characteristics of folktales that we have read about before and we have seen. Okay, so here I am sharing my screen, and this is called The Woman and the Old Sea Spirit. And here we go. Here are some words that we are going to be seeing that you might have some trouble on, but let's go ahead and start. Fierce, right here. Hesitated. Howled. Mysterious. Spirit. Excuse me. Worn. All right, here we go. Isabella was old. Her garden was too big for her tired back. Her children were grown. No one needs me anymore, she thought. She left her village and she moved into a small shack by the seashore where she lived alone. One night there was a storm. The sea wolves came out to hunt as they only did when the ocean was fierce. So um, let's go ahead and think about where this is taking place. Remember, folktales, sometimes they happen out in the outside, right? In nature. Is this happening in nature? It is. It's happening near the what? And let me think. I Okay, let's say I don't know the word fierce. Let's just say I don't know what the word fierce means. But I'm going to use my context clues. I'm going to use my pictures and my words around to try to figure out what that word might mean. So let's do it again. Let's look. What's happening here? She looks a little scared, right? She looks a little scared. And uh, we see the ocean. And the ocean is like, it's kind of going crazy, right? So we can assume that the weather is kind of what it's bad right now right so one night there was a storm the sea wolves came out to hunt as they only did when the ocean was fierce that ocean does it look fierce to you it looks like it's kind of rough right i mean the the weather is just really bad they held riding the rough waves the next morning the beach was littered with clams that had washed ashore what a feast, Isabella thought. She picked up a shell. Inside was a tiny, frightened child. She had silver hair and a silver fish's tail. You must be a little spirit of the sea, Isabella said. I bet you are hiding from those sea wolves, she murmured. So that's what she found. And remember, folktales, are they usually true? No, they're really not. But how do you know that this is not true? Probably because there's a mermaid in a seashell, right? And she's talking. Isabella bought the sea, brought the sea spirit to a calm pool near her shack. The little girl danced in the shallow water. The sea spirit stayed with Isabella, who named her Serena. Isabella shared her clams. She sang songs from her village. Serena sang songs from the sea. And they grew to be like mother and daughter. Word-wise, Serena means mermaid in Spanish. One year later, Isabella saw a flash of silver in the waves. It was Serena's mother. Serena leaped over the rocks. She swam through the waves. Isabella saw how strong Serena was now. She was proud. The little girl, the little girl hesitated between the two men, women. So let's think about the word hesitated. Let's think about it. And one, it's a bold word. So it's a, there's a text feature in here. So I'm pretty sure we can find this at the back of the book, but let's use our context clues. Let's use the pictures. So we see here Serena and Isabella. 
Serena, what kind of face expression is she using? Is she look happy? No, she looks kind of confused, right? So the little girl hesitated between the two women. So imagine how she's feeling. She has, the book said, the book said that Isabella and her became like mother and daughter. But here we have another mermaid that is her actual mom. So she's kind of like struggling. She's, she's confused between the two women. And that's how we can tell what the word hesitated meant, means. It is time for you to go home. Isabella said with a goodbye song, Serena and her mother slipped beneath beneath the waves. No one needs me anymore, Isabella wept. She thought about returning to her village. She feared they would not welcome a lonely old woman. She stayed alone by the sea. On a one windy day, Isabella saw a flash of silver waves. It was Serena. She danced in the water, singing a mysterious song. It sounded like howling sea wolves. Then, with a powerful splash, she dove beneath the water, the waves. Is there another storm coming? Isabella wondered. I must warn my village. Isabella marched through the wind. She went to the wise woman's house in the village. So um, you, okay, so we know that Isabella thinks, oh, they're not going to welcome me because I'm old and I'm lonely, but how do you think the village is going to react when she tells them, hey, a storm is coming? Think about that. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Think about that. A sea spirit warned me that a bad storm is coming, Isabella said. A sea spirit? The wise woman gasped. I cared for the little one when she was washed ashore, ashore during a storm, Isabella said. Please, Isabella, stay with us in the village, the wise woman said. Oh, no one needs me anymore, Isabella said sadly. That is not true, Isabella, the wise woman said. The, spe the sea spirit needed you. Our fishermen needed you to warn us. The whole village worries about you being alone by the sea. Isabella was surprised to hear this. She did not think anyone cared about a lonely old woman. So was she wrong? Yes. I, she was scared that they weren't going to welcome her. But one day, I think they would have welcomed her whether or not she was warning them about the storm. Um, because I think maybe those villagers are good people and no one would want someone to be by the ocean by themselves, especially during a storm. As long as you care for others, someone will always need you, the wise woman said. Isabella stayed in her village during the storm. Her neighbors welcomed her, they ate and talked and laughed together. The next morning, the storm moved on. Isabella looked toward the sea. She thought she saw a flash of silver in the waves. Thank you, sea daughter, she called. Do you know that this story is based on a water spirit from Chilean, Chilean legends called the Pacoya? The legend says that the Pacoya, Pacoya danced to let people know that there would be good fishing this year. So these are, remember, um, well, actually, let's go over the words. Fierce means very violent or powerful. Hesitated. Pause before doing something, especially because of uncertainty. Uncertainty. So being scared. Howled. Made a long, loud cry. Mysterious. Hard or impossible to explain or understand. A spirit is a supernatural being and warned to alert of danger. So um, this happened in Chile. This happened in Chile. So um, it is a folktale that was uh, given down, given down from um, from people in Chile. And that's how we got this story now. Um, and that is a folktale. Remember, folktales are not necessarily true, but they can have true parts of it. All right, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Make sure you do your assignment.